guys it's your girl Nea and welcome to or welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video you guys today I'm coming at you with my newest additions to my hygiene collection so I'm just showing you guys a few products I picked up within the last few weeks or so honestly just my newest additions so I'm not gonna show you guys products from like months ago but from a few weeks ago that I picked up just all my new things that has been added to my collection recently but before we get into today's video don't forget to follow me on all my social medias like instagram and tiktok which is hygiene 101 all my social medias are the same and i'm not gonna talk i'm honestly not gonna ramble too much so if you are ready without further ado let's just get right into it all right you guys so first up we'll start with something simple one of the new products in my hygiene collection is this yardley bar soap i actually just picked up two of these but one is already opened and in my shower and this is my other one so this is the yardley strawberry coconut bar soap i love this one if you guys know i love to do fruity shower routines and one of my favorite fruity fragrances is definitely strawberry so you guys should know by now if you want did y'all just see that like dust fly across the camera? That just threw me all the way up. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys watch my TikToks, you should know my shower routine by now. I always start off with the bar soap as a base clean. And I just feel like this Yardley strawberry soap is the perfect match to a fruity shower routine. If I'm doing anything fruity, especially strawberry, this is just perfect. It's a perfect layering piece. It's really strong, honestly. Like it gives you that fruity base fragrance and then going in with my strawberry or fruity scented body wash or shower gel right on top just really pulls everything together so this is new to my collection and i really love this bar soap all right so next up i did get a few new things from victoria's secret i'm not exactly sure what this new collection is called but I actually seen Mindy on Instagram post it. It's self-care. I seen her post that collection. I don't remember if it was either on her story or like an actual post. But I know I seen her post it and that's what made me want to get these fragrances. I have not gotten any new fragrances from Victoria's Secret in a while. But when I seen this collection, I was like, oh yeah, like I need it. So let me show you guys a few things that I picked up. So yeah, you guys, it was a sale, buy two, get three free. So if you buy two for $40, you get three free. I usually don't participate in those type of sales, especially at Bath & Body Works, because I feel like it's just not a sale. I never really participate in those sales, but honestly, like I couldn't wait for a $6.99 sale. That's the other sale that Victoria's Secret does is the $7 body care. And I honestly couldn't wait. I was already there and I already smelled everything and I just wanted to get it while I was there. And yeah, I just, I just wanted to go ahead and get it. So let me show you guys the ones I picked up. I had to pick up this one. This is the talk of the talk. This is what everybody's talking about. So I was like, you know what? I got to see what the hype is about. And you know I love my fruity fragrances like I just told you guys. So I picked up Miss Berry Spill. Girl, let me tell you, I love it. It's so fruity. It's definitely like strawberries in a bottle. She smells so good. The fragrance notes are strawberry so juicy, it overflows, sparkling with orange and blonde woods. I didn't even know there was any woods, you know, in there. But this smells amazing you guys like oh my god if you love fruity fragrances you gotta try berry spill so many other girlies were dming me telling me like this was the best one and let me tell you i agree for the buy two get three free i almost considered getting like a backup of this like one backup of this either another lotion or another spray as a part of my three for free because it's that good. If they ever have a $7.99 sale or a $6.99 sale, I would definitely be picking up another set of this because I need it. So yes, this is one of my newest additions. Mm, it just smells amazing. Oh my god, you guys. I love it. I'm so happy to have this in my collection. Now next up from the same Victoria's Secret collection, the next set I picked up was Miss Sugar Blur. Now you guys know I love fruity fragrances, but I also like anything sweet like candy. I'm obsessed with any sweet or gourmand fragrances, so this was right up my alley. Now, I've heard a lot about this one too, so I had to pick it up. I did give it a little test in the store. And here, I'll test it again for you guys. 
I gotta let it like dry down a little bit. Ooh, it's like um who it really is just like sugar. Like it smells super sweet and airy like there's not much to it it's not too much but it's not too little it's just the perfect sweet fragrance i have used a spray but these are so new to my collection i haven't quite broken to the lotion just yet it still has a seal on it i actually just made a haul on these like sometime last week on tiktok i really haven't had these in my collection for that long but the side notes for sugar blur is vanilla so whipped it's hazy Floating with Amber and Sheer Raspberry. I love how Pink and Victoria's Secret do their fragrance notes. They're always like little sayings or phrases and it just makes it so funny and cute. But yes, oh my god, the vanilla sugar and then the raspberry. Girl, it's perfect. You couldn't have it any other way. And then last but not least from this Victoria's Secret collection, I did get Petal Buzz. I decided to get this one just in the spray since, again, the sale was buy two, get three free. I already had two, so I couldn't get another set. It was either going to have to be one or the other. It was either going to have to be the spray or the lotion. So I decided to get Petal Buzz in the spray. And there was one more fragrance a part of this collection. I don't remember what it was called, but I didn't really like that one. I don't even remember what it was called. It was Berry Spill, Sugar Blur, this one, and I don't know, something else. But I didn't really like that one. This one I decided to pick up because, I don't know, it gave me like Velvet Petal vibes. I think more so for the name. Here, I'll test this out for you guys. I did give it a test in the store, but I'll test it again. Ooh. Okay, this smells exactly like you're fresh out the shower. It smells super fresh with the hints of floral. I think Petals is the perfect name for this because it's not like a full-on flower. It's not a full-on rose. It's not full-on floral, but it's just like, you know, like a few flower petals. Ooh. Oh my god, I oh, I just kicked the camera. <laughs> I got a little too excited. But you guys, like, I really like this. It's really fresh and just girly. Like, very, very, very fresh flower petal fragrance. So the scent notes for this one is a rosebud so fresh, it's electric. Ripened with grapefruit and pink pepper. Ooh, really? Okay, they took it really easy on the pink pepper because usually pink pepper is like in real like perfume perfumes and pink pepper is a pretty strong fragrance note. So they definitely took it easy in this body mist as they should. You guys, I don't know how to describe this. If you love fresh fragrances and you love a hint of floral like me, it's just, it's just that. It's literally like fresh fragrances and flowers had a baby like i don't know that probably doesn't make any sense but it's just that like it's super fresh but it smells like flower petals i don't know you guys it's just perfect and i had to get it so yes those are all my new fragrances from victoria's secret i'm absolutely in love they're perfect they smell amazing all right so next up i did get a new deodorant now i have a lot to say about this girl let's just get into it so this is the hello unicorn deodorant if you guys follow me on instagram you know i've been trying to pay a little more attention to ingredients and products especially when it comes to deodorant i already am aluminum free but i was trying to go all natural because even deodorants with aluminum free you would think they're good because they don't have aluminum but just because they don't have aluminum doesn't mean they don't have any other bad ingredients which i found out a lot of my deodorants that were aluminum free still had bad ingredients and like you're applying that right under your armpit so i was just like no I'm i tried to go all natural girl it, it just it wasn't working it was not working for me at all i know a lot of people struggle with transitioning from regular deodorant to aluminum free um because of like obviously like you get a little a little stinky for a little bit but I didn't have that problem. Luckily, like I was able to switch over to aluminum free without smelling. But let me tell you, switching from aluminum free to natural deodorant was not it. Like I have never smelled what I smelled in my life. Like I was just like, absolutely not. And I tried, like I didn't just give up. I tried multiple different brands. I tried Arm & Ham um, natural deodorants. I tried Tom's. I tried multiple and 
it just wasn't working. I would sweat it right off. It wasn't, it was, mm -mm. and like the smell, it just was like absolutely not. Like I can't, I can't do this. So then I ended up having to switch back to my regular aluminum free deodorant that I was using and my armpits were having the hardest time adjusting back to my regular deodorant because I took a few weeks trying to use natural deodorants and my armpits just like couldn't catch a grasp on regular aluminum free deodorant again. It was horrible. Like it was a whole progress. I ended up messaging one of the hygiene girls about it. Maybe I'll include the message so you guys can see like what I went through. So yeah, it was just, it was, it was crazy. I ended up having to detox my armpits and finally after doing a detox, my armpits were able to adjust to my aluminum free deodorant and not be all smelly and crazy. And then one day I was in Walmart and I seen this and I was like, that is so cute. Like it's pink and I smelled it and it smelled like candy. And I was like, oh my God, a natural deodorant that actually smells good. That's another thing I hated about natural deodorants is that they all smell super earthy and just were not for me like they just smell literally like they smell natural like they didn't have any good fragrance and that was another thing I was just not a fan of and then I even tried like an unscented all natural deodorant and then it was just so weird my armpits smelling like nothing that was just weird and then after like sleeping with a deodorant for one night, my armpits smelled like a whole lot of something and it, and it wasn't in a good way, let me tell you. So yeah, after, like I said, switching back to my regular aluminum free deodorant, I seen this. I thought it was cute, it was pink, it was natural, it had a fragrance, so I wanted to try it. The first day I tried this, it was like, it was okay. It didn't keep me super fresh, but I wasn't like, oh my god, I gotta hop in the shower. Like it wasn't... Super fresh, but it wasn't disgusting. Like, it was right in the middle. It was kind of like, eh, you know, like, it's okay. It could be better. Um, I would definitely have to, like, freshen up during the day if I plan on using this, but it wasn't terrible. So then day two of trying this, I don't know what went wrong, but I was like, absolutely not. You guys, I had, like, I can't even tell you. <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys the story. So literally I walked to my Nana's car and I was handing her something. I had a tank top on and then she was like, why are your armpits so white? And I was like, what are you talking about? I looked at my arms and I was like, <laughs> I just started busting out laughing because I was like, what the heck? I'm going to insert a picture because you guys got to see this. I was like, oh, heck no. I was like, oh my God. Like it looked like I applied the whole stick. I'm like, this is crazy. And I had posted about this on Instagram and a lot of the girlies agreed with me. Like the packaging was cute. They wanted to try it. I made sure I texted every single girl who stood up on my post about this deodorant. And I told them, do not get it. Like, trust me. So yeah, and not only did I have that terrible white cast, I was super sweaty. So then when I tried to wipe it off, and I was in the car by the way. So I was trying to wipe all this white icky deodorant off and i was like sweaty at the same time and so this deodorant is just a no-go it is new to my collection but trust me it won't be staying for long <laughs> all right you guys and lastly the newest items in my collection are some new tree hat products so let me show you guys so first up i did get the new midnight glow set if you guys know tree hut did expand their glow collection first it was just tropic glow now they have midnight glow and they have another glow which i'll be showing you guys in a second but yes let me just tell you i love midnight glow it has sparkles in it like little shimmers especially in the body butter Ooh, it really does smell like a real perfume it's super perfumey i feel like if you have some real perfumes in your collection the body butter would be a good pairing piece so yes not only do they have the scrub they also have the body butter it's purple it's so cute again it smells so good you guys like oh 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 dang <laughs> they also have a shimmer mist i have not gotten my hand on the shimmer mist just yet Honestly, because I haven't seen it anywhere. Every time I go to Target, every time I go to Ulta, I haven't seen it yet. But yes, you guys, you need this scent. Especially if you like to smell like a baddie on a budget. Because girl, this will do it for you. 
Now, not only did they come out with Midnight Glow, they also came out with Miss Ocean Glow. She's aquatic. We love her. So, the scrub, once again, has the cutest little shimmers. Makes your body all shimmery. This one, uh, look at the color. It's so pretty. Ooh, it just smells really fresh, clean, aquatic. And then here is the butter. I love the packaging. Like, the blue color is just too cute. And the body butter also has a blue tint to it. It's just amazing. So moisturizing. I love it. And then last but not least, that I not only get some new glow products from Treehood, I also got some of their new fall products. First up, I got Miss Apple Macchiato. Let me just tell you, I am so happy to see an apple scent from Treehood because I have commented on their post so many times that I would love to see an apple scent. Specifically, I said apple crisp. I would love to see an apple crisp or like just some type of an apple fragrance. And they did it. I wonder if I was the reason they created this, you guys. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they probably had this plan like way ahead of time. But you know, maybe I was like, maybe I influenced the reason that they made this. Who knows? But anyways, yes, I did get Miss Apple Macchiato. Ooh, we love her. I love it. Oh my God. This smells amazing. I cannot wait to pair this with my Champagne Apple and Honey set by Bath & Body Works or my apple cider set by Bodycology. This, with either of those sets, is just gonna smell so amazing and gonna have me smelling ready for fall. Oh my God, I could so see me wearing this to like go apple picking or like go to the pumpkin patch. It's amazing. And then the last one I picked up from the fall collection, I picked up one more, was Miss Iced Coffee. Now, let me tell you guys a little story. So if you guys know, this is not Treehut's only coffee scent. Treehut also had another coffee set, which was Velvet Coffee that came out a while back. Oh my god, I'm sorry Treehut, I love you, but I hated Velvet Coffee. It was not it. Like, when I smelled that, I was just like, oh my god. Like, it was so strong, and it was just, mm -mm. you guys, it smelled like burnt coffee. That is exactly what it smelled like. Like, it smelled like burnt coffee. There is no other way to describe it. I don't even know. Like, it smelled like you've been brewing coffee for five years. It was horrible. I, I mm -mm. And I was so disappointed, and I know I wasn't the only one. A lot of the other girlies were disappointed because we all kind of expected it to smell like Starbucks, and it definitely wasn't that. I love how Tree Hut really pays attention to their consumers and us who buy their products and they listen. So I'm so glad that they came out with a new coffee scent and it is way better than before. Let me tell you, now this, this is how you do it. Amazing. It's not quite giving Starbucks, but it's giving Dunkin', which is just as good. Ooh, yes, I definitely get Dunkin' vibes from this. It's giving me like, I don't know, like hazelnut cold brew or something. Like some type of cold brew. I love it. Now this, this is now this is how you do it, Tree Hut. You should have did this the first time around because Velvet Coffee, ooh, she's canceled. I don't know what that was, but Ice Coffee, mm, chef's kiss, 10 out of 10. Now Tree Hut did have a few more products a part of their fall collection. They had Pumpkin Spice Latte. I still do have a few of those from last year. I might pick up a few more. And then they had Boba Milk Tea. I will be getting that one eventually. They had a pumpkin spice body wash. I do need to get my hands on that. And then they did have a sweet cream body butter. I really wanted that, but when I went to Ulta to get these, they didn't have it. So I will check another Ulta probably sometime this week and get my hands on the sweet cream body butter. But yeah, you guys, that is all my new products, all my newest additions to my hygiene collection. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, don't forget to like, Subscribe and hit the bell so you get notifications every time I post a new video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what new products have you gotten recently. Share this video with a family member or a friend. And I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.